and her name was Elizabeth. And so this John that we're going to hear about in a minute, his parents lived when Herod the Great ruled. Uh, Herod, by the way, was not the legal heir to the throne because he was a descendant of Esau. But he ruled for Rome as kind of their puppet leader. This is by the end of his reign when we come to this particular point. One writer says Herod, though, was so popular with some Jews that they formed a pro-Herod party called the Herodians. And the Herodians, of course, they were enemies of Jesus. But Herod was also a tyrant. He jealously guarded his ill-gotten title, King of the Jews. He killed anyone or threatened anyone to take his title away, including even members of his own family. Remember, the Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things. Our heart is desperately wicked. And so, you know, here's the reality, though. John's parents, in the midst of Herod's rule, are righteous people. They're godly people. And they were both, verse number six, righteous before God, or literally in the sight of God, walking in all of the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. In other words, they're obey, obeying the word of God. They're, they're observing the word of God. Verse seven, and they had no child because Elizabeth was barren. She was unable to conceive. And they were both now well stricken in years. They're old. And so John's parents were these godly people who were upright in the sight of God. Again, I pause and I say, what kind of parent am I? What kind of parent are you if you're a parent or a grandparent? Would someone who is very carefully investigating our lives, like a Luke, and they were to come and they were to, to study with our children and they were to talk to the people at our job and they were to talk with people that we like to hang out with, would they be able to say after a very careful investigation, they put your name there. They are godly, righteous parents. They're devoted worshipers of God. They're not sinless, by the way, but their lives were characterized by obedience to God's law. Zechariah, his name means Jehovah remembered, which is pretty key when you realize it's been 400 years since anything happened. Elizabeth means God is my oath. John, by lineage of Aaron, was the one who was to become a priest. And Zechariah, he married within this priestly line of Aaron. And though God viewed Zechariah and Elizabeth as righteous, many of them who knew them didn't. Why? Because they were childless. And in that particular era, in that particular time, many in that day wondered whether sin in their own lives caused God to withhold children from them. And so as a result, it was a constant embarrassment to Elizabeth. They were elderly, and the prospect of having any children had long gone out of the way for them. And so I find another life lesson. And that is, God's delays are not always God's denials. God's delays are not always God's denials. Don't misinterpret wait for no. Now, as a kid, I often did that. My dad would say to me, as I'm bugging him for something, which was like every day of my life, and I, I, my dad would say to me, Bob, just wait. My mom would say, just wait. And so I would wait about three seconds, and then I'd ask again. Now, God's timing and God's infinitely wiser methods than mine are always right. And God has a plan. And he's going to direct the affairs of humanity. He's going to restore a relationship to humanity. <clears throat> and so we want to let unmet expectations be tools 
that grow us closer to God and not allow us to become bitter against God. Deuteronomy tells us in chapter 32, he is the rock. His work is perfect. All his ways are judgment. A God of truth without iniquity. Just and right is he. We get to verses 8 through 10 and we find something to ponder, and that is that the priest has some huge responsibilities here. And it came to pass that while he, that Zacharias, uh, entered the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude, in other words, all these 